What's going on guys? My name is Rama back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode reaction to the quintessential quintuplets or go to Bano Yohana Yome episode 3 a mountain of problems I'm ready to jump into this a pair. Okay, so last episode really quickly before a little quick little recap before we actually start this episode Last episode, we got the episode focusing on Miku, and I know a lot of people are going to be claiming her as best girl. For those of you who are questioning what, who I personally think is best girl, and best girl by far, without a doubt, is Nino. And the reason why it's Nino is because I'm a manga reader, and I'm not going to spoil what it is, and I just realized I have my glasses on. And I don't want to glare. But yeah, Nino is by far the best girl after her couple arcs and how she treats uh, our main character afterwards. And it, it, it's it, it, she was my least favorite character and she skyrocketed at everyone. Get out of the way, Ichika. Get out of the way, Itsuki. Even though I per personally don't care about Itsuki because she doesn't really have that much development in the manga so far. Get out of the way, Yotsuba. And get out of the way, Miku. Right now, Nino is best girl by far. Uh, I'm not, <laughs> but that's only if we can get that adapted. I want to see it because I want to see how many people are gonna jump ship if they adapt adapt it really well. And so far, the adaptations have been pretty good. Apparently, from this entire season, I've heard Shield Hero was really good. I've heard uh, Promise Neverland is really good, and I can guarantee. And I, and from personal experience i can tell you that kaguya sama is even better than the manga so i'm assuming that the people who are saying that it's actually better than the manga in terms of or light novels in terms of promise everland and shield hero they're probably saying the same they're probably being true and not over exaggerating because me personally i can guarantee you that <laughs> um kaguya sama is better in anime form and so far it's hard to say with the quintessential quintuplets there are scenes that are definitely a Agree that are animated better, um, that make it better than the manga in some cases. But yeah, I'm gonna go stop talking about that. I'm gonna go jump into this. So, guys, episode three, a mountain of problems. Let us jump into it. Starting in three, two, one, let's jam. You... Hey, Miku. <laughs> you didn't know that. <laughs> Trying to get in. I will admit that Miku is best girl for a good while. For a while, even I was like, oh, Miku's best girl. And then I was like, oh, Ichika, you're best girl. And then Miku was like, ah, never mind, you're still best girl. I was kidding. And then Ichika comes back and like, ah, damn it, now you're best girl. And then Nino comes out of nowhere and kicks both of their asses. Yotsuba has a moment, I'm like, oh, no, because... Yotsuba for a split second became best girl and then the very next page she 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 went back down But it actually jumped her up some space and, and in fact that her little scene actually jumped her past Itsuki and Itsuki has not recovered since in my opinion Itsuki has moments of cuteness don't get me wrong But all the other girls have moments of cuteness in fact I think Yotsuba has m much better moments of cuteness because of her you know airheadedness Ichika is a flirt that's why I like her and she got short hair. That's hot. Um, Nino. I, I, I want to explain why I like Nino so much, but it's spoilers. So I'm not going to say it. And we all, and, and people, I, I even guaranteed you, I was like, people are going to like Miku and people are going to like Ichika. But I knew Miku was going to be liked first because she had her first arc. And she kind of hinted that she likes Futaro. I'm still, we're still waiting for who the fucking bride is. Because we can't tell. Wait a second. That scene with her, with Nino in the bath towel. We're, that scene right there with Yotsuba jumped her up some a little bit. But no, okay, so I just re watching that Nino in that bath towel. I think that means I we're going to get adapted. We're adapting up to a certain point. See, I like Yotsuba because she's so happy go lucky. Hello, eventual best girl. Eventual best girl. Not right now. 
I know what I. Panties. I want to see that. Boy! Boy! <laughs> you missed the flag. That was a flag you just missed. Miko is best girl so far, but manga readers know she's not. I like how Nino's not in that picture. Oh yeah, that's right, because she's, oh, there's eyes in it. Oh, there you go. What's a, look at that smug face. Never broken a bone in my body, thankfully. Knock on wood. Hold on. Knocking on wood. I remember there. Yeah, I wonder when we're gonna get that episode about Yotsuba. <laughs> she stayed at least she's like all oh, according to plan ha hey is that the matcha tea uh, <laughs> yep, or let's just sort of. <laughs> I'm a savage. <laughs> you, you just got dissed. Roundabout way. She looks fine. Cooking battle. <laughs> I like how you know if if you realize she still got you know still got Mika to stop studying. Never had a Dutch baby. 
Oh, honey. What's in a Dutch baby? By the way, just because something doesn't look visually appetizing doesn't mean it is appetizing on the taste buds. I've had some things that don't look the best, but damn, does it taste good. That doesn't... <laughs> you had to pick one. You had to pick one. Oh, God, Miku, you can't be doing that to me. You can't make that face. I have to stay faithful to Nino. Why? Because she is best girl. Later on. Actually, no, Miku, you're my waifu in, this, in the anime. You're good. I might cheat on you with Ichika, but that's... That's water under the bridge. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> Oh, just you wait. Foreshadow. We done fucked up. I forgot. I forgot. Did he forget his oh, flashcards? I mean, you're taking a shower. It's not like he's going to open the door to the room with a shower. I remember this scene. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Boobs. She can't hear you. <laughs> you done fucked up <laughs> yep I, I, okay, sorry. If your eyesight's that damn bad that you can't tell someone who was wearing a fucking completely different... I don't know. <laughs> you lucky motherfucker. <laughs> this isn't good for my health. This isn't good for my health. Little did she know, hold on, nar narrator, little did she know, she was talking to that same exact boy. Funny thing is, looking at that structure, that would actually never, that would not happen. 
the books are placed fine and the shelving has a unit that is attached to multiple other units that you you hit in the door would not actually cause a vibration why am i talking about this i don't know i should be talking about boobs boobs It's not what you think. Lying to <sighs> You done fucked up. You weren't supposed to. Sp <laughs> oh. Oh no. Even I don't remember this scene. Wait, do I? I know. It's only because you're worse, girl. <laughs> we need the FFF Inquisition in here. <laughs> I don't blame him. What are we fucking ace attorney here? Objection. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you butter up. He may look like a criminal. It's that beady eyes in his eyes. Beady look in his eyes. The Battle of the Quint... Well, I w technically... The quintessential quintuplet. The quint. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he did not see you naked. Ooh, damn. They're actually very similar. Those. Now Mika's like, wait a second. <laughs> Just like How do you come up to that conclusion by just seeing a couple books on there? Just saying. I mean, I I wouldn't have came up to that conclusion.
used to. Without her shoes, too. Pretty an exhausting day, huh? Udon is pretty good. If you haven't had Udon, try it. It's pretty bad. Pretty bomb. I was about to say badass, but then it would have... Yeah. Oh, what's up, Dino? <laughs> you but I want to see your face Having a bit of a touching moment between these two, I guess. I mean, yeah, he was right there and heard you, so. Makes it seem like he's bar makes it seem like he's barging in is basically what it is. What what, what did, the anim the, that the drawing of the feet? Did you see that? <laughs> you do, your plan backfired, bro. All right, that was good. Good episode. Not much to really say. I mean, in all honesty, yes, yeah, so we actually got a little bit more insight into Nino and things and other assets. But um, yeah, I will continue to hold true that Nino is best girl in the series. Anime form, however, of course, Miku is going to kick everyone's ass up for a while until Ichiki probably gets her little spotlight and I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be uh, uh, the Inquisition of Ichika is what I'm going to go call him um, and I'm going to call myself the Never Doubters of Nino <laughs> the people who are uh, uh, the Nino devotes in terms of best girl because like I said I think like the only reason why you would ever think Nino is best girl is if you read the manga in all honesty 
But I'm hoping we actually do get it up. Apt, uh, ab, 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 I can't talk. I hope we do get it apt, uh, adapted or adapted, whatever, uh, because that's going to be such a good thing. I know pretty soon we're going to be seeing um, some interactions soon. I'm guessing in either next episode or the episode afterwards. Not entirely sure. I pro I need to reread it. But I'm probably not. Because I got a lot of other things I need to read anyway. Just going to continue to watch. Make sure we're all good. If there's any... Yep. Okay, yeah. It, I, I do realize that this show is a little bit harder to react to simply because slice of lives are a little bit harder to react to in general um, because it's a slice of life. You're, you're not having anything like really thought-provoking going on. Mostly, it's mostly just me picking out some details and kind of commenting on them. And I, I realize that some people might not enjoy that. Um, and that's perfectly fine. Um, don't... Uh, and... Um, but, like, a slice of life, I, I wanted to react to this simply because I've read the manga and I thoroughly enjoy the manga and I'm liking the series. And the series is actually pretty popular. In fact, I actually want to see what the ranking is on Manga Rock. So, let's see. I'm loading up Manga Rock right now. But, yeah, like, Kaguya-sama, it's, it's really easy to react to a comedy because I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I laugh like a giddy asshole. Oh, hey, a couple things got updated. Uh, let's see. Go to Bond, go to Bond. There it is. Um, it is rank 13? Holy shit. Hold on. I don't know if you can see this. It's, my phone's plugged in. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I don't know if you can read that. Hold on. And there you go. See? 71 chapters, rank 13. Very interesting. Very interesting. I thought it was a little bit higher up. I thought it was in maybe like the hundreds. I did not know it was that popular. Maybe maybe because it got an anime adaptation, uh, it's getting more popular. Also, I just realized something. My microphone levels are low. For some reason, I'm going to change that for the next thing. In fact, I'm probably going to go change it right now as I continue to talk about this episode. Hold on. Recording the microphone. Okay. Oops. Wrong one. Sounds. Recording properties. And let's go to... Why does it keep on resetting? Okay. Very interesting. I don't know why it does that. See, you can probably tell it. Yep, there's a big difference already in terms of volume. I don't know why it's resetting. I think every time it does, like, my computer doesn't update, it just does that. Like, it was set at, like, half the strength level as I want it to be. So I do apologize for that. Now I probably sound a lot louder. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I just realized that until, like, when I was looking at my levels on my uh, on my <laughs> OBS. So I do apologize for that. Uh, next time I will sound a little bit more clear. But yeah, anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this re episode reaction to Gotoba no Hanayome episode three. Um, can't wait until I uh, can't wait until Saturday when we get Kaguya some because that's the one I'm really looking forward to because reasons. <laughs> but Kaguya some honestly is just probably my favorite show I'm looking forward to to react, and then probably Shield Hero, then then Promise Everland, then then Gotoba. I'm not reacting to anything else, am I? Yeah, I think I don't think so. Hold on, let's see. Go to Banohana, Yoma, Kaguya, Sama, Promise Neverland, Shield Hero. Am I missing one? I thought I was reacting to five shows. I actually don't remember. Anyways, I'm having a brain fart apparently for some odd reason. Uh, yeah. So I'm. <laughs> Why can't I remember what? Oh, Kakegurui. Jesus Christ. Kakegurui. Yes. I would actually say Kakegurui would probably be number three, in fact. I would actually probably pick Kakegurui over Tate no Yusha. No, not, not, not Tate no Yusha. Um, um, Yokosaka no Neverland. Uh, yeah, easily. So, Yokosaka no Neverland is probably my number four, simply because it, while it is good, although granted that music is fantastic, um, we'll see what happens. Honestly, I'm pretty sure things will change as the season continues. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I'm rambling on too much, and I'm going to upload this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys Saturday for Kaguya-sama. Until then, have a good one. See ya.